Well, then yes, it's really beautiful up here. Yes, that was very kind of you to invite us to your grandparents' house. No fair! That almost hit me! Life's not fair. Earlier today, I just missed hitting this kid with a basketball. Hey, Candace, what are you up to today? Well, I'll probably try to bust you guys again and fail again and add another link on my summer-long chain of disappointment and regrets. How about that, Fur? Candace already knows what she's going to do today. So, uh, how's the antique business? Oh, it's just fine. You know they have a saying in the antique business. Mm, what is it? What is what? The saying that you use in the antique business. Oh, I don't use it, but there is one. Hi, Dad. Hi, Grandpa. We're not interrupting, are we? No, no, no. Come in, boys. Ferb and I were just talking about the time you built a balloon and won the most famous balloon race in history. Tell us that story again. Well, I went out to the barn, I built a balloon, and I won the most famous balloon race in history. Wow. He makes history come alive. Come on, Ferb. I know what we're going to do today. If you need us, we'll be out in the barn. Cool. Just look at all this great stuff. Hey, where's Perry? <laughs> Good morning, Agent P. After extensive research and computer data analysis, we have concluded that the tri-state area is experiencing an unprecedented shortage of eggs. We need you to investigate. Good luck, Agent P. You there! Weren't you listening? Go make some eggs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. You might want to use the sugar, unless you want salty lemonade. Oh, I can't wait to get new contacts. I'm as blind as a bat without them. Here, use my spare set of glasses. Wow, now everything is a different kind of blurry. Hey, stranger, come on in. Everyone, you remember Glenda. Of course, Candace. Glenda was the first female train conductor in the entire tri-state area. But alas, the train is being decommissioned, and today is Glenda's last trip. And you know what? I'm going to take her up Gearheart Summit. <gasps> but nobody's ever taken a train up Gearheart Summit. It's too steep. Well, that's what they say, but I'm not one to give up. It's just like when you became a conductor. That's right. They told me to give up, but I never give up. I'm not the kind of person to give up. Well, I'm going to prove that an old train can make it up those tracks. You guys want to come with me? We should all go. Sounds like fun. Okay, train leaves the station at 10 sharp. See you there. Isn't she something, Candace? That's a woman who would never give up. Give up, blah, blah. Give up, blah, 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 blah. Give up, blah, blah, blah. Give up. It's so simple. I don't know how I didn't think of it before. Who oh, give up. It's not bad to have gold per se when you teach your coach and counselor out. Cold hard reality can get in your way when you're really not up to the task. Well, you've been screaming and spying and screaming and crying, but you know there's still something that you're still not trying. Give up. You've been trying to sell this so long, even though there's no one out there buying. Give up. I know you're tired of the same old song, but it's not really failure if you're not even trying. Give up. It's like you're banging your head against the same old wall Baby, all you got to show is a bruise all you got to show Well, it's a crazy thing to do to just keep on repeating All these actions that will only lead to cranial bleeding Give up, it's time for you to throw in the towel Capitulate and raise the white flag Give up, but don't be bitter just because you're a quitter You can even hold your head up and brag That's right, you gave up She gave up, she gave up Contact! Last one at the top of the mountain is a stinky dish sponge! What you doing? About five knots. Not so. I'm doing six. See you at the summit, slow coach. Hey, we're falling behind. What's happening? Excess weight seems to be hampering our progress. Yeah, we gotta lighten the load. Ah! How does dangling me from a rope lighten our load? Eh, yeah, it lightens my spirit. Ah, Perry the Platypus. Well, I guess it serves me right for bringing work on vacation with me. And there it is. Man, are we in a rut?
Anyway, this is my dodo bird incubator, you know, innator. With this amazing device, I can transform any egg to a dodo egg. Once they hatch, I will march my terrifying dodo bird army across the tri-state area. You know, I don't really know what they look like, but they're extinct like dinosaurs. So just imagine giant extinct dinosaur-like monsters laying waste to the city. Ah. You know, you, you really picked me up out of my doldrums. Well, we're here and ready to help. What would you like us to do? Just sit back and enjoy the view. The train will do all the work. Do nothing? Got that covered. All oh, aboard! Gearheart Summit, here we come! <laughs> I'll never make it! You should give up! Yeah, give up! Woohoo! So long, boys! And don't forget to clean your rooms! Yes, Mom. It's your fault. Quiet, you. Looks like a dead heat so far. We need to pick up the piece! All right, I'll get rid of this. I did not know why you even brought the swordfish. It's a marlin. <laughs> oh, no! Little help, guys! Third. So, Candace, you sure seem relaxed. What's up? I'm just taking in the ride and not worrying about what Phineas and Ferb are up to. Well, good for you, honey. Because I've got Jim. We're playing King's Corners. Are we? It's working! It's wonderful. It's amazing! It's... Nark, 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 nark. Nark. It's, uh, not quite as terrifying as I'd hoped. Nark. How am I supposed to take over the tri-state area with a bunch of these? Uh, where's the horror? The terror? Where's the... Oh, no. But, you know, you're going to have to wait in line, Perry the Platypus. First, got to deal with this. I mean, it looks like a turkey. It's like Thanksgiving. Uh, 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 exactly like Thanksgiving. Hey, Glenda, how's it going? Mighty fine. You're looking chipper. Oh, yeah. I've been feeling great ever since I decided to heed your advice and give up. No again? Well, all summer I've been stressing about busting my brothers, but after your speech this morning, I just gave up. And now I'm much more relaxed. So what you got from my speech about how you should never give up is that you should give up? Well, you did say give up a lot. I did say that, didn't I? Uh, Glenda? Glenda, the train is slowing down. So it is. I guess we're out of coal. Oh, well. What? You can't give up. No coal means no steam. And no steam means we can't make it up the hill. Eh. We gotta do something. We need fuel. Wait! I have an idea that just might work. And don't think I don't know what you're up to. I'll be right back. She's such an active child. Just out of curiosity, what's going to happen to this train after today? It'll be torn apart and sold for scrap. Why? Sorry. Is a little loose. I think that... Do you need some help? Well, yeah. Can you hold the wheel while I tighten it? Gladly. Well, that's perfect. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Check it out. A dodo bird. What's next on the list, Ferb? Frankenstein's brain. Yeah, uh, that was in my balloon. Woohoo! Yes, we made it! I knew we could, I knew we could, I knew we could! Oh, did you now? Yeah, and you can drop the act. I know you didn't forget to bring coal. It's probably all in that box you're sitting on. But lesson learned, and as long as I'm no longer giving up, I'm going to go bust knees and burp. Thanks! I could have forgot the coal. I'm old! Do you notice anything different here? Well, yeah. Everything's half off at the gift shop. Here we are. Here hard selling. Let's put them down over there, Ferb. Why is it every store sells this outfit? Mom, Mom! Look what Denise and Ferb are doing! Come quick! Look, look, right there! You see, you see? Okay, Candace. Oh, hello, boys. What? No! Aha! Nark, 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 nark. Sayonara, Dodo! Hey, how'd you start that with no opposable thumbs? Mom, look! It's just Forrest's perspective! Look! They're not really here! It's an optical illusion! He's not really... Hi, Kenneth. How was the train ride? Oh, I give up. Some vacation this turned out to be. So you bought a museum of biological oddities, but you didn't get any biological oddities? <sighs> what? There it is. Nark, nark, nark. Nark. 